As the world population grows, our need for food increases. But more food production means more energy and more water consumption. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization says that livestock is responsible for 18% of global warming emissions. In comparison, farming fish, also known as aquaculture, contributes only a fraction of that. Aquaculture is mainly understood as farming fish or other aquatic uh, species like shrimps or snails, but also including uh, seaweed. It is growing now. Consumers are, are asking uh, for more fish and the oceans are not able to supply all the fish. 60% of the stocks in the oceans are depleted. The Danish government have set strict environmental standards for businesses and the Danish agriculture industry have developed highly advanced techniques and technologies to meet these regulations. Denmark has been a focal point for the development of recirculation aquaculture systems, also called RAS. Unlike the old flow-through system, the water is now treated and reused. Therefore, it is a highly sustainable way to produce fish. You have a normal fish farm. The water has to go in and out. You need between 40,000 to 50,000 liter of new water to produce one kilo fish. Then when you start recirculating the water, reuse the water, you can use less water. And we are operating in the area 400 to 500 liter new water to produce one kilo fish. Bilon Aquaculture exports equipment and know-how worldwide. They have built recirculation plants in 26 countries. 90% of them produce salmon. When you use so relatively little amount of water, that means you can locate these fish farms wherever you want. Let's say the Chinese project where we actually established this thousand tons facility, it's 3,500 kilometers away from the coastline. Bilo and Aquaculture use pumps from Danish Grundfos, the world's largest producer of recirculation pumps. Grundfos have developed an energy-efficient pump technology for the recirculation and purification of water in aquaculture farms. In, instead of a flow-through system where you have gravity to support you with the flow through the system, here you have to lift the water through the system. And of course, seen from a pump perspective, it's interesting because we need some kind of efficient technology to do that. What we will call smart pump technology, adjustable pump due to uh, the flow demand. In North Jutland in Denmark, they're currently building one of the world's biggest recirculation plants, featuring all Danish technology. We use very little water for the production of fish. We aim to produce 2,000 tonnes of fish uh, a year. The main idea really is to take the fish um, away from the sea, uh, where we can actually uh, collect all the waste products. So we don't have the same environmental impact uh, as, as you would on a, on a cage system out in the sea. It goes through a UV filter um, and then into some biofilters. The biofilters are a bit like a pair of kidneys, so they are cleaning all the ammonia out of the water. And then after that, we have a, a degasser. And basically, the degasser is like a, uh, a pair of lungs, basically, for the fish. And it removes the carbon dioxide from the water. So the whole system is taking the wastewater from the fish, cleaning it up, and then sending it back to the fish again. There's only a very small fraction of new water brought into the system to just keep it in balance. However super efficient these technologies are, are there really no waste products coming from these recirculation farms? Well, there are byproducts, but with a difference. They all have uses for surrounding farms. There are three discharges from a recirculated system. You have the clean water, the water where the fish are going, then you have sludge water or water with high particles coming from the mechanical filter and the biological filter. Uh, you can say, what do you do with this? The slots have a lot of nutrients and many places you can use this slot as a fertilizer on land and then you can produce vegetables. Consumers on high value markets are increasingly uh, asking for certificates on the environmental issues in fish farming. Other countries may be forced to produce their fish in a more environmental sound way. We see a, could I put that way, a bright future within the RAS industry. It's a very nice way to produce animal protein and it's very energy efficient. We use a little amount of water. We do not pollute our environment. 
So it's very efficient way to produce animal protein.